Hi, uh, my name is Johannes from Manbander and we're here today because we're going to talk a little bit about how to get Manbander sounds uh, that are as big as your mom. Uh, you might stay there because you can learn something. Okay, you ready? The first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, temperature. As you can see here, I like to have this kind of about 40 to start with because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. We get the first things and we put them in. Uh, like this. I don't tend to worry too much about mixing colors at this stage because you can always clear that up later. It's basically like a big case of balancing because you need to have balance in all things and that's why music is like life because if I ate five cake I, I would be fat. I, I sometimes eat celery, I like carrots and um, I like ginger. Sometimes I like ginger in the tea as well but that all keeps me balanced. It keeps me it keeps me whole. And then I like to take this, just two. Two is important, it's a number, uh, represents unity. And this bag, and that goes in, and th that's a sort of basic, a basic approach. You can make it more complicated if you like, but I like to start simple. Hi, uh, we have moved into another part of the studio, and I'm just gonna show you um, a couple of things that I have. This is the first thing, uh, it's a nine volt battery. It can be useful for getting a variety of things. I touch on, oh. And you might, you might recognize that from, from a few man band songs, and uh, we've been using that technique quite a lot. It's kind of a secret. I use Ableton Live um, because I am German. I'm gonna show you something that uh, is one of the instruments that I like to use. Uh, you cannot see that, it's called Bonge. I get this and I drag it over here and I, I click, and you can see it adds a new MIDI track. And so we have the, the GUI of uh, Bonge open here. And um, what I like to do is, it, it's very simple, it has this control which uh, is marked Disdain and uh, I can turn this up and down. I like to keep it probably about there. I might just play um, a few. So we have basic sounds. Until you find, you know, until you find something you like. What I do now is I go into um, the arrange view. I'm just going to close this now because I, I have the control set. I don't need that. So we go in here. We'll just set that going. And I'll record. Okay. And we have that captured now. I can play that back. You, you can see it's, it's quite small. And this proves that sometimes small things can provide a big sound. The way that we tend to work in Manbender is that we take something very simple and then we just we just simply add to it. What I'm going to do now is uh, find some reverb. Bring this up now gradually um, to provide that sound. And you can hear that that will now, that goes on for a long time, it's atmospheric. And if you drop that in a club, people are raising their hands, they go into the bar, they're going to the toilet to take their time in the toilet, they are loving the, the ambience. And this is what we call um, a sample. And we drag the sample in, you can zoom in, and then now we have our song. Thank you for listening to Man Band. I'm gonna play you the song now and uh, we will say goodbye until next time when we will be dealing with other things.
by the way, I, I like to call this song uh, Inevitability. Uh, it's one of the many words I've learned since since I moved to uh, to London. Anyway, I should not uh, I should not spoil the the breakdown yet. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I can see uh, cats, cats, but not today. <laughs> 